Well, it is just a delight of mine to be out here with Lynn Snodgrass at Drake 7Ds on Stark Street. And Lynn, you do a great program out here called Garden to Grill. We do. And, you know, really, there is a lot of stuff in our yard that, we, that is edible. A lot of stuff in our yard that's safely edible. Yes, exactly. And there's a big difference <laughs> between true. just plain old eating and plain old not eating. A lot of people, for instance, use lavender as something to do fragrance in their in their bedrooms or, you know, potpourri. They think of it more medicinally that's almost. That's right, absolutely. But you can eat lavender. You can eat lavender flowers. So I've made a sweet treat. You're going to start <laughs> off with something gonna... <laughs> sweet. Sweeten you up, William. Now, what are these? These are called lavender cookies. They're very easy to make. It takes one minute to cook them the first time, then you crimple the, the lavender on it, and then you put them back in the oven for another couple of minutes. It's a nice, sweet, light, almost looks like a crepe when it you does, bring it does. In fact, out. I thought that's mm -hmm. what they were. And there is just a little essence of lavender. It's but not just, overpowering no. and lightly. Mm -mm. They're not really sweet, sweet no, either. And they're a, nice, they're a nice cookie when you want to uh, surprise someone or use it for a shower. Well, you probably wouldn't do that. I, well, not but, so you know, much. But, <laughs> but a nice sunny afternoon, and you've got lots of lavender blooms, wow, and put delicious. them on a cookie. It reminds me, for some reason, of a baby shower, like you said. That's, yeah, I look at that. It's very uh -huh. sweet and charming. So it took wow. one minute to cook them, put them in the oven again after you sprinkle the lavender. Two more minutes. It actually takes longer to gather the lavender blooms than it does to cook the cookie. That's and true. And they're easy, and they're healthy. They are, and, and really delicious. Are they good? They are. I love them. I love good. just the, the hint of lavender. It's, and you can use a variety of lavender in that, too. So if you don't have the white or you don't have this kind of variety, mm. you can use a lot of different varieties of lavender to make the cookies. Well, they're, they're absolutely delightful. Now, getting on to the meat of the show here. <laughs> I had to warn you off of this one, didn't I? <laughs> what, what do you got cooking? Well, I love, when I do the Garden to Grill class, to use my Dutch oven. And this is very simple. I've used beef ribs and baby back pork ribs put them in the bottom of the Dutch oven, and then I used four different colors of peppers and one onion. That's it. I did use a little of my own barbecue sauce on the top. This is what it looked like before I took some out. Because the colors of the peppers alone are so beautiful. They're not only pretty, but they add flavor. Oh my so goodness. there you go. Wow. You and that's it? so simple. Of course I smell it. It's, it's, it's It is simple, and you don't have to add any oils. You don't have to add a little salt or any of that kind of stuff. All and, right. and how long did you cook this? This in the Dutch oven, 45 minutes. So it was very fast. So under an hour, really. Easily basically. under wow. an hour. Yep. Okay. So, Lynn, you know how much I love you. All are right. you going to be letting me taste this one, too? This one's beef. That one's baby back pork. Okay. I'm going to try this first. All right. Okay. Ready? Here I'll, we go. I'll I'm going to get messy, ready so don't, don't, be, don't be upset with me. Oh, my goodness. It you pretty like much, it? I didn't even have to really bite down. It kind of fell off in my mouth. Well, that's, that's the whole point. It rips wow. should fall off like that. Oh okay. my goodness, and the pepper flavor is just delightful. Well, it's wonderful. Uh, speaking of peppers, this time of year, oftentimes Portland folks think it's too late to mm -hmm. plant vegetables it, in the know, garden. It, it's the first of August almost. It I mean. is, but it's not too late. That's the joy of living in Oregon, yeah, the true. joy of living in the, in the Willamette Valley. You can still dig a little hole in your backyard and put some of our vegetable starts. Or and Even in a pot. <laughs> or in the pot. And still enjoy lots yeah. and lots of fruit. You can harvest long into September it's a true. lot of these different things. And you plants. know, we have one of those wonderful Indian summers in the mm -hmm. fall that we often mm -hmm. have. We've got a long time of harvesting still ahead of us. Well, if you go into a garden center, you'll see the plants are pretty tall. Well, they're as if they were planted in your yeah. garden six yeah. weeks ago. So take them home. They're ready for you. Well, I'll tell you what, there is, you know, you can always delight all of your senses out here at, at Drake 7 Ds. So come on out to their store. It's on Stark Street. Thank you so much. <laughs> you can go to uh, gardentime.tv. We'll click you over to their website. Whether you're looking for great recipes, great plants, or even to start a late vegetable garden, this is the place to be. Thank you so much, dear. You bet. Welcome to have you. Thanks.